Hi and welcome to this follow-up to our quick tip on tool tips. There was a question posted over at the Sportcast blog once we released. Dave asked if there was a way to fade in and fade out those tool tip speeds instead of the default that the browser has. The browser set it at about a hundred and when you hover over it's kinda like bam and the tool tip is there. So David looked over at the flowplayer.org forums he found a, a post about it and he said it was just a bit too much but I jumped in after reading his post and set up a page and you can see that page here and I have my link right there in the middle of the text. And I wanted some text because I didn't want a bunch of break uh, tags on the HTML page to, to give us some space so I put it in the middle of some text and um, I set up uh, a call for the jQuery tooltip uh, function and this is what I came up with and as you can see we get a nice fade in with a really nice fade out nice easy fade in with a nice easy fade out so let's jump over here into our edit mode let's see how all that's gonna work and and why it works that way now you have to lay out your page a specific way for jQuery's tooltips to work and the first thing you have to start with I have a comment at the top of the page and then there's a, a div class and you end the div immediately and that div class I've called tooltip now of course we all know that when we give a div a, a name like a class or an ID we can also use that reference for our CSS to do our styling and that's where that comes into play uh, partly because that's going to be our CSS styling and I'll show you that on our page inspector in just a minute after we go over this page layout uh, then I have uh, my text my content and in the middle I do have my link reference there uh, my A I've given it a class name as uh, tips and there's a reason for that and we'll go over that when we get down to the script at the bottom of the page and of course there's my title in there making the web a better place and then of course the rest of my content now at the bottom of the page you're gonna see that there is a call here this is a jQuery call to make the jQuery script work and you'll notice that it is set to a dot tips and that references that means that this call is going to directly uh, activate any link that you have in your on your page that has that class tip and that's what it's looking for and then it's going to style it after the div and the CSS associated with that div for every one of those tips on your page so if you wanted just a standard link reference in here and you didn't want it to be a tooltip you could just put that in there as a regular uh, link reference without a class and without your title and it would just show up in the middle of your your content and it wouldn't have a tooltip or it wouldn't be referenced by the jQuery tooltip that we're playing with today now you can see you have to have your first call in here these this is your JavaScripting uh, tip dot tooltip our tip will always reference dot tooltip because that's the div and that's the CSS then there's a position I set this one to bottom right that's the default and I use some offsets which are both set to negatives you you can play with these numbers and see how it moves that tip around its position on the page uh, where it shows up when you do that hover effect then you have to have your effect set which is fade because that's what Dave's looking for he's looking for fade in and fade out and then of course we set a fade in speed and I set this one to a thousand you've seen how it faded in nice and easily and then I set the fade out to match that at a thousand it faded out nice if you need something that fades in a bit longer and fades out a bit longer you can increase these two numbers and you can play with those numbers and you can see so you can get the type of effect that you want and then you always close your script so that activator is there let's jump over here into our page inspector what do we need well we're gonna need the jQuery library that's the first thing and in this example here I don't have anything added to our page assets I've called everything from online libraries so that we don't have to use our bandwidth or worry about having anything loading down 
our project file. And Google is nice enough to maintain the jQuery library for us online so we can call it from their location and bring it in to use on our pages. And I'll include both of these references in the show notes. The second script that's up here on the screen is the uh, tools package that goes with jQuery. It's available from the content delivery network uh, for free for us to use. So thanks to both of those locations, Google and the content delivery network, for making those available for us so that we don't have to uh, have those as part of our package and include those on our own host. Now on our CSS page we have our dot tooltip uh, display none you have to have it at display none so that it's not just constantly showing it only shows when you hover over it we have our background color set borders and everything else you can add whatever styling you want to this just be sure you have that display none up in there I'll be sure to include this into the show notes as well and you can change your font sizes if you want to use some CSS3 coding and you want rounded borders you can put that uh, stuff in here. Uh, you're going to want to be sure that your tooltips display the way you want them to without that coding first because not all browsers support CSS3 and our friends that use IE will be kind of out there if you have it in there. You could throw shadows on there and everything else. You could bold your font. You just make sure you test everything before you put it out there. Um, otherwise Dave, I think I've answered your question. Uh, as long as you add everything that needs to be added and add the script that sets the calls the way you need them Dave everything should work fine I wouldn't get too attached to uh, the basic tool tips that the browser is capable of setting up uh, watch on tooltip Tuesday next week uh, I've got a tooltip that I've been working with it is packed full of features and it has some styling that you can design up and throw in there and it'll just make your your tooltips pop so if you're really interested in tooltips, be sure you're watching Tuesday for Tooltip Tuesday when we release that new cast. And as always, thanks for joining me at SupportCast.